Hi, if you're new to our channel, welcome. Today we're gonna to cook on a wood burning stove and we're gonna use our Dutch oven and we're gonna use ingredients that are in our home that you probably already have and don't realize you can make a super tasty, simple and easy recipe in your very own Dutch oven. Let's get right into this. I already sprayed a little bit in here. Um, the potatoes are kind of soft. They've been in there a little while, so I think, I think we're okay like this. Try to time everything, getting done around the same time. Maybe this one. And we got some onion here. We just do this, that'll be fine. We've only cooked a couple times in here this year now. You can tell we've been using the word wood burner if you look here. <laughs> but uh, maybe those should be wedges. I'm not sure. I think that'll be fine. A little bit of garlic here. How much should I make them small or kind of keep them chunky? Chunky. Try to speed it up a little bit here, guys. We just opened up the pantry and we're like, well, what do we got in here? Let's, let's go for it. So that's what we're doing. Some Angus hamburgers. Not sure how that's gonna turn out, but I'm assuming it's gonna taste good. And then we'll put the lid on there. Here we go. Try to keep it back here so when he hits on the soapstones in the back. So I usually like to try to put it the back here because that's where some more spillage is. So we've had this actually eight years almost. This February, I think it's eight years. We looked this up, but um, we haven't done a whole lot of cooking because of the soapstone. We didn't want to ruin it, but now I think we're to the point, well, let, let's use it. <laughs> as long as you take this off, put it somewhere else, stir it, look at it, and then put it back, you really don't get anything on the soapstone. Um, but this is a work in progress. We're newbies at this. We did some cooking last year and the year before. So we've got about 360 degrees on here. and We'll let this warm up to about 400. And uh, probably 30 minutes we'll smell that garlic and that'll just be fantastic. So you gonna stoke the fire a little? Um, well, I got it right open down here, Roma. There's lots of air coming in there. Well, let's open this up. Is just, the meat cooked? Um, I'll break a piece in a sec. I just want to kind of lift this stuff up. Mm -hmm. Close. Yeah. Well, I think we'll... Looks good. Yeah. I think I'll put it on the bottom. Like, get it down there. I shouldn't be doing this on the stove. Mm -mm. Broke my own rule. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless. Smells fantastic. It smells so garlicky. It smells really good. Let's see how it tastes. Fantastic. Mm. 
Super good. Let's get a little bit of this garlic on there. Cooked it a little too long. It's not tough, but it's a little harder than it should be. We thought we had some carrots we could throw in there, but we didn't have any. Super good. Really good. There you have it. It was super simple and easy and tasty. Hardly no time went into this. You can be as elaborate as you want. You can add seasonings, you can add glazings, you can mix it up and change the ingredients. So the sky is the limit. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching.